All right, thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to view this quick video. Now, this week, I did research on the three branches of the government, along with uh, a video I created about how the impeachment process works, especially since we're in that time, I figured like that would be like relevant for you know us to know about, especially those of us like myself who don't really dabble in that area. So I'm going to share some things with you about the judiciary branch. That's what this video is about. If you want to learn about the executive and the uh, legislative, just back up a little bit. I made videos this week about those as well. Now I said the Supreme Court and the lower courts compose the judicial branch. The judiciary must interpret the laws of the United States. In the course of such interpretations, the courts may find that a law violates the Constitution. If so, the court declares the law unconstitutional. Thus, the judiciary also has a role in determining the law of the land. The judges of federal courts are nominated by the president and advised and consented to by the Senate. The number of judges and the exact structure of the courts is set by law and not by the Constitution. Now, as I said, the judicial branch of the government is made up of judges and courts. Federal judges are not elected by the people. They are appointed by the president and then confirmed by the Senate. There is a hierarchy of federal courts in the United States. <clears throat> At the lowest level are 94 U.S. district courts, which cover different regions of the country and handle most federal cases. Above, the district courts are 13 courts of appeals. At the top of the judicial branch is the Supreme Court. The, su the Supreme Court has the final say. Federal judges are appointed for life. They can only be removed from office by death or by impeachment from Congress. This is to allow judges to make decisions based on their conscience and not on what they feel they need to do to get elected. The job of the courts is to interpret the laws of the Congress. They do not make laws. They also only make decisions on actual cases where someone has shown that they have been harmed. The highest court in the United States is the Supreme Court. The Constitution doesn't say how many Supreme Court justices there should be. There have been as few as six justices in the past, but since 1869, there have been nine justices. The president nominee, nominates all the Supreme Court members and the Senate confirms them. They hold their office for life. The Supreme Court doesn't have a lot of trials. What they mostly do is review cases that have been ap appealed from the lower courts. Not all cases, not all cases that are sent to the Supreme Court are reviewed. Around 7,500 case requests are sent to the Supreme Court each year and they only consider around 150 important enough to review. In other words, don't bring it to the Supreme Court if it's not real, <laughs> right? Because they don't play. 7,500, only 150 are reviewed? Come on, that's not, a, that's not a high percentage. But, you know, there are cases that are, you know, viewed and determined on by the Supreme Court. Now, I really apologize for my voice this week. I don't know what happened, the weather changed or something, but it got me. And I started taking medication and, you know, I, this is Saturday. I feel as good as I've felt all week, so the show must go on, right? This will end video number five this week, so mission accomplished, right? Not as good as the rest, not as good as the ones that are going to be coming, but it's still out for the public to see, right? All right, have a great weekend. My name is Larry James, and I come to speak with Larry, share these videos, like these videos, and I'll see you next week.